Introduction to Exponents, Powers of 10. The way that you read this here is 10 squared, where this 2 here is the exponent. And 10 is what we call the base. So 10 squared, what that means, that equals 10 times 10. So you multiply 10 together, that's that base, 2 times. 10 squared is equal to 10 times 10. And if we simplify 10 times 10, that equals 100. So 10 squared is equal to 10 times 10, which equals 100. 10 to the first power is equal to just 10. And 10 to the zero power 10 with that exponent of 0 is just equal to 1. So again, 10 squared, 10 times 10, which equals 100. 10 to the first power is equal to 10, and 10 to the 0 power is equal to 1. What do you notice? Hmm. No zeros there. How do we read this here? We read that as 10 to the third power, or you can also read it as 10 cubed. And that's your choice as to how it is that you want to read it. But you need to know what each of those means. 10 to the third power. What does that equal? Remember, we're not just going to multiply 10 times 3. That is a common mistake that students will make. What this is telling you is to multiply 10 together three times. That's 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is equal to 100, and times 10 again is equal to 1,000. And you will notice, as before, it's that 1 followed by three zeros. And to be more precise, we should probably place our comma. Okay, it's your turn. It says here to rewrite as a power of 10. And I'm going to give you three numbers, and I want you to rewrite them as powers of 10. So, for instance, if I had given you 1,000, you would have written 10 to the third power. And that's all I'm asking you to write. Write out the whole equation, meaning to write out the whole thing here. And here are your other couple of numbers. Press pause while you're trying to solve these problems, while you're working out these problems. And then when you're done solving them, you can go ahead and hit pause again to go ahead and start that video back. All right, 100 is just 10 squared. And you'll notice that you write the exponent just a little bit smaller, and then above that 10. 1 is equal to 10 to the 0 power, and then 10 is equal to 10 to the first power. Look over your work to make sure it's right. Let's go ahead and work out some more problems. Here's 10 to the fourth. That's going to be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 10 is 100. And 100 times 100 is going to give us 10,000. So if we look at that pattern, as we continue that pattern, it's going to be 100,000 for 10 to the fifth. And again, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. Go ahead and copy this down, please. And then so 10 to the 6 is equal to this number here, and then that's going to be 1 million. So if I count my places here, that's 1, 2, and 3, I place my comma, and 1, 2, and 3 also place another comma. And I'll give you a few more. Copy them all down. 10 to the 7th then is equal to 10 million. Ten to the eighth is equal to a hundred million. 
and we, we'll do our billions on the next page. So that's 10 to the 6th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 zeros. That's 10 to the 6th. 10 to the 7th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's that 1 followed by 7 zeros. And 10 to the 8th is that 1 followed by 8 zeros. Press pause if you need more time to write this down. Here's powers of 10 to the, for the billions. And please go ahead and copy these down. 10 to the 9th is equal to 1 billion. That's 1 followed by 9 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 10 to the 10th power is equal to 10 billion. And finally, 10 to the 11th power is going to equal 100 billion. Press pause if you need more time. Okay, let's go ahead and review. 10 cubed means what as a multiplication problem? Do you multiply 10 times 3? Hope you said no. It's 10 times 10 times 10. And what does 10 times 10 times 10 mean? Or equal, that is. 100 times 10, which equals 1,000. How to write million as a power of 10? First off, my base is going to be 10 for sure, because that's what we're learning today. And then it's 10 to the what power? What's our exponent? 6. Because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 zeros. The other way we can think about this, though, is that we actually did multiply 10 together, and we would multiply 10 together 6 times to be able to get 10 to the 6th. What is 10 to the 8th? That's 1 followed by 8 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Where I place my commas, and then I should probably recount my zeros to make sure I had the correct amount of zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So 10 to the 8th is 100 million in this case. This is the millions period. That means that 10 to the 9th is into the billions. That's 1 billion. Ten to the tenth is ten billion. And of course ten to the eleventh would be a hundred billion. Those are your powers of ten.